Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Kicking It With Kia B. In this here video, we are going to be doing an update on my 90 day weight loss challenge. This is the first 30 days. So if you're interested in seeing how I've done in the first 30 days, please continue to watch. And also before we get into that, I would like to say welcome to my new subbies. We have gained some more family members, you all, and I would like to welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming over and joining the Kicking It With Kia B family. I hope that you have enjoyed what you've seen so far and that you will continue to watch. And what's going on to my long-standing family members, those of you that have been here with me for the long haul, or if you are, or you have been here just for, you know, a few weeks, a month, a day, whatever it is, you are considered family. So welcome and welcome back to everyone. We're going to go ahead and get into this weight loss challenge update 30 days okay everyone so we are going to be doing an update on 30 days of this 90 day weight loss challenge um as you may know if you've seen the previous video, um, I am on a self, all alone, 90 day weight loss challenge. And um, I've done this before in the past and it worked greatly for me. So I decided to go ahead and do it again. So today is actually March 8th and this video will be going up on March the 9th. So hi, for you today is March the 9th. And we're gonna just go ahead and give you guys the information as to what's been going on, what I've been doing, how much weight I've lost or not lost, so forth and so on. So um, I have been doing um, a lot of cardio, um, just trying to build my stamina back up again. So I've been doing a lot of cardio and I have also purchased a um you know that hula hula thing that with the ball on the end that has been advertising um i wanted to get it sometime last year and i just never did and i went ahead and sucked it up and paid the 50 something dollars for it and you guys when i say that that thing is awesome i really mean that it's awesome um i recently got it so this last week was the first week that I actually started to use it. I have used it a few times this week. Um, I haven't been going full throttle like I want to, and I will get to that in a second. But just the um, time that I have used it, I can already tell the difference in the way that I'm feeling. Um, like you could feel the muscles in your legs tightening and also in your hips. Um, and in your stomach and your back area. So with that being said, I've been just doing a lot of walking in the house. Um, and then again, I've incorporated the hula. So when I last spoke with you guys 30 days ago, I did measure my waist and my waist was 58 and a half inches. Ugh. Like, ugh. <laughs> Y'all already know that my stomach and my back are my problem areas. <sighs> We're not even gonna get into that. But anyways, um, I do wrap myself with saran wrap. If I don't use saran wrap just because I'm being lazy and don't feel like putting it on, then I will go ahead and use my sweat belt. Um, but I've been using the saran wrap more than I've been using the sweat belt these days. Um, the full 30 days, I did not work out. Um, so this update is technically like a three week um, update. And I'm telling you why. The reason is because I did not work out for an entire week. Um, I had some medical things going on and it did not allow me to be able to work out. I am still kind of on a workout restriction and I am supposed to be taking it easy. I have been trying to push the envelope a little bit, but my husband and my mom has really been on me. So I've been doing what I can and trying not to push myself, but I don't want to get into 
the habit of because I was, you know, under and I could not actually work out. I don't want to get into the habit of using that as an excuse, like I'm going to get up because I still need to be active in some way, shape or form, but definitely being very cautious and being very careful about what it is that I am doing and how long I am doing it. So, um, the first 30 days, um, the first two weeks, um, I would say was full throttle. And then again, the third week was nothing. And then the fourth week I have been pushing it, but not overdoing it, if that makes sense. So with that being said, in total, I've lost six. And you have my little calendar here, you guys, with my little book. And it has little notes on the side here. So I've been putting my little notes down. So in the three weeks, and a half-ish kind of sort of well really two and a half weeks because I had one full week off so I lost um six pounds total am I happy with that absolutely 100% but I know that if I was not down for that week and if I was able to actually um work out this week and last week the way that I really wanted to then um I could have gotten you know I was shooting for 10 pounds per month um so <sighs> four pounds shy of 10 is still good because it really is hard to lose weight um, to shed one or two pounds is really hard. So to drop six pounds is awesome. Um, this upcoming Saturday will be another weigh-in for me. So that weigh-in um, or that whatever I lose for that week will out go for the second month um, of my 90-day challenge. It'll be for the 60-day update. So yeah, so six pounds down. I can definitely, definitely, definitely see it in my legs. I don't know why, but it seems like my legs is the first to lose weight. I can see it in my belly. There isn't a significant change. However, I can see the difference and I will be posting pictures at the end of this video so that you guys can see what the difference was from my um, first picture at the beginning of my 30 days until now. So those pictures are brand spanking new. They are from today. So you guys will have the most current pictures at the very end of this video. Um, I also, again, like I said earlier, I did measure my waist. My waist measured at, let me go back to that date, 58 and a half inches. And so I have already re-measured um, my waist and now my waist is measuring at 55 and a half inches. So that's good. That's what, almost four inches lost? Yeah. So whatever I'm doing is working. Um, you know, sometimes we're impatient and we want things to, you know, speed up and the process to happen quicker, but it is a process and that's just what it is. You know, nothing is going to happen to you overnight. You have to put in hard work in order to see results. And so I'm definitely happy with um, the three and a half inches lost. I, or yeah, lost around my waist. I definitely cannot complain about that at all. So with that being said, that is my update. Um, I am still drinking a lot of water. Um, I think that I can up my water a little bit. Um, Again, the first couple of weeks, I was doing really good. I was drinking a half a gallon a day. Um, once I got injured, I really wasn't, or yeah, I, I really wasn't eating or drinking much. Um, so I wasn't getting the water that I needed. Um, so yeah, so I am getting back onto getting my water in me. Um, I just hope that plan for everything to just go up from here to just get stronger and, you know, and be able to do more and be consistent and watch what I'm doing so that I do not get hurt and be down. <laughs> so, yeah, so 
So far, six pounds down. We're shooting for 10, but we got six, so I'm not gonna complain. And also went from 58 and a half inch waist to a 55 and a half inch waist. Again, that is with one full week of doing no exercises at all. Um, so technically, it was probably like a good two full weeks. And then the third week is, I did something, but I, I would, I'm not doing what I was doing the first two weeks where I was pretty much going full throttle. But um, with the circumstances, I can't complain about where I am right now. So you guys, that is my 30 day update. Um, for my 90 day challenge. I will be doing another um, update when I hit my 60 days and I'm hoping that I can come with a little bit more weight loss. I'm shooting for 10 pounds again this month. I'm not going to try and um, overdo it. However, if I lose more than 10, I will be so, 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 so excited. Um, but 10 pounds is what I'm shooting for. So hopefully, when I talk to you guys on the 60 day um, update, I'll be down at least 16 or more pounds. So that's the plan. And we gonna hope that this waist keep on shrinking. And you guys, that hula is so freaking fun. Put your um, AirPods in and just go and you can feel it. So I do recommend that for anyone who may want to trim down their waist and their legs because it definitely, definitely, definitely works. I feel it all in my thighs, in my hips, and in my um, stomach area. You can just feel it tightening up as you're doing the hula hoop. So I would definitely recommend that. So with that being said, again, that's my 30-day update. I will see you guys with another update on day 60 and if you have any questions for me or comments go ahead and leave them in the comment section below if there's anything that you guys have tried that you may want to you know let me know of that I can try please leave that in the comment section below as well I do have another Shein haul coming up so be looking for that and I'm gonna go ahead now and those pictures up for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.